What's going on guys? Kel Meyer with TheEasiestBusiness.com. Before we jump into the two-week review about my paint company that I started back up again, I uh, just want to let you know um, I appreciate all you guys who have signed up for the course. Um, I'm sitting at 15 to 20 hours worth of content right now uh, on, the, on the private link that I give away um, that teaches you how to set up everything, how to run through bids, and then I even have uh, some client sessions in there where I've coached some clients. And we talk about everything from bidding the jobs, uh, to labor and material pricing for their individual situation. So you can get a good idea of how I really do anything and how I really approach everything. Um, and I'm gonna coach probably the next five or 10 people through the course that sign up for it. I've had a few already. Um, I'm probably gonna coach them two or three days, full eight hour days, uh, if necessary on how to do everything. I'm gonna upload all that content into the course. And then from then on out, I'll kind of be hands off the course. I'll probably have uh, between 30 and 50 hours worth of content on there. And that way when people buy the course, I can just kind of be hands off and I don't have to you know, spend days and days teaching and coaching people. But I will still do private sessions um, if you need it. So uh, let's just jump right into this review. All right, so many of you know I've started up my paint company again. I was kind of full-time uh, real estate. I still am full-time real estate. I don't actively go out and search for paint jobs every day right this moment, right? Like I'm not transitioning back from real estate back into pain because I just love real estate so much. I love pain a lot too, um, but doing the work every day, I'm trying to be in something that's more sustainable uh, for my long-term health, taking care of my body and things like that. And you guys should also uh, think about your futures down the road. Um, you know, if you're just working for yourself, you're doing a lot of spray in, make sure you're wearing your respirator, things like that. Um, but just think about your long-term future, your family and your kids deserve to have you around for as long as possible. So think about your health. Um, so that's kind of what got me started into real estate. I love real estate though. I love showing property. I love writing up contracts. I love negotiations, things like that. But that's kind of beside the point. Um, I had a business partner that's also a real estate agent. He's had his hand in a couple of businesses. He owns you know, part of a roofing company, part of a cleaning company. He's opening a project management, uh, a project management, a property management group. Um, and so it only made sense that he have a painter too. So when he gets all these issues, he just refers out to these to these companies, which he is part owner of. So he knows my background. You know, he knows me personally. We actually went to high school together. He approached me. He said, "Hey, you know, um, if I start a paint company, you want to go 50/50 with me?" And I said, "Sure, as long as I don't have to do the paint work." So I've kind of fired my Facebook page back up. Uh, been looking for some work, and this is kind of the first two weeks of how it went. Uh, now keep in mind when you're listening to all this, I'm not looking for paint jobs every day, right? This is just things I stumble on. Right now, I still am doing the painting that I do pick up that I'm gonna tell you about. Um, that's because we haven't made our operating agreement yet. We need to sit down with some lawyers and make sure everything's good to go. On the paperwork side, we haven't done that yet. But the minute he approached me about it and I agreed to it, I fired everything back up so I could start getting leads in the door. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing I wanna discuss is uh, free. So I ran a free, I want to say I ran a free campaign, but there's no such thing, right? Um, and then I did paid, and I'll let you know how both of those work out. So the first thing we'll do is go into free. So basically, I monitor my Facebook page. I open up. I'm part of what's happening in Fairhope, what's happening in Daphne, what's happening in Gulf Shores, what's happening in Robertsdale. These are all cities that are around me, and there are thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of people actually on these pages uh, every day posting, looking for contractors, what's the best place to eat, uh, what's there to do for my kids. So I just browsed these pages and I said, hey, people are asking about contractor recommendations all the time. I have a video actually on my channel, it's called How to Generate Free Leads, you can go look that up, where I go into depth about what to say to these people um, when they ask for this stuff and how to get in front of uh, people and have these appointments uh, for these quotes. They want estimates, I'm gonna teach you how to go to their house, what to say, what to say in the messages, what to say in the emails, how to make it look all nice and how to be respectful and, and come off as a professional. So if you wanna go check that out, please feel free to go do that. I'm not gonna to go too much into detail on this now, but this is actually how I landed uh, two of the jobs that I booked this past week. So um, anyways, so into the free. I checked these pages um, and I booked two jobs. Uh, I booked, not two jobs, I booked two Three estimates actually. I booked three estimates. And then out of those three estimates, two booked jobs. Now, I did go against some of my own rules in starting my company back up. So when I started the company back up, you you know if you watch any of my YouTube videos that you know I say, hey, you need at least four hundred dollars a day labor, right? Four hundred dollars a day labor. Plus material, you're probably five, six hundred dollars a day. Um, you need to be making a hundred grand a year. 
yada, 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 right? Like I said all that, and I still believe that. I do think that's true. But on one of these jobs, I kind of broke my own rule just because it was the first one getting back into it. Um, it, was a, it was a big water stain on the ceiling, right? Um, they didn't have the material, so I had to buy the material. So I had to buy some kills in a can, some, some, some pro block, I guess, from Sharon Williams. I didn't, I didn't use kills, but you could use kills, right? Some oil base primer. I had to put a little mud on it where they had the water stain, some of the drywall. I was starting to peel off, so I mudded it a little bit, took a hair dryer to it, you know, primed it with the with the pro block, rolled over it, thought I was gonna have to do the whole ceiling, so I was charging 400 in labor, um, you know, for the whole ceiling, but it matched up well enough, the customer was happy about it, everything looked good, right? So I actually knocked some off the price. So I did it for 300 in labor, uh, and it only took me about a half day, so I wasn't really mad at it. First job back at it, nice lady, school teacher, whatever, you know, I have a heart too, so. Um, I did that. So first job, I made three hundred dollars. Made three hundred dollars in a half day. Second job, it was two rooms. Uh, had compassion on these people as well. Um, usually, I would have charged probably two fifty to three hundred a room, just walls. I knew I could knock them out in a day, um, and I would have made five six hundred bucks in a day. And they already had the paint. Usually I don't like when clients buy paint, but in this case it was okay because they actually use the equivalent of like Scuff X, but it was Bear's Scuff Defense or whatever they call it. I know Bear makes a decent paint. Some people hate on it. I don't think it's that bad. I actually have Bear paint in my front hallway at my house. So, and this on these walls right here, like Scuff X, but um, I have just rare Bear house paint uh, in my front hallway. When guests enter it, they see, and it's a nice Sherwin-Williams software gray. But they picked the higher quality paint, pretty expensive paint. Um, haven't really priced any out, but I'm assuming the Scuff X equivalent can't be that cheap, right? So um, I said, look, I can get this done in a day, two coats. Uh, one was actually just three walls. They had painted an accent wall. And then, so it was three walls in this room and it was four walls in this room. And they were standard, you know, just bedroom size rooms, not too crazy, like 10 by 12, 10 by, uh, you know, 10, 12 by 14, I don't measure. Uh, like that when I go do small residential quotes. So they were really small rooms. One accent wall was already done. So I had to do three walls here, four walls in this room. Uh, they promised me that everything would be off the walls. The furniture would be moved. Well, they took everything off the walls for the most part. Um, I had to still do switch plate covers and light switch covers and stuff. Uh, but I did have to move some things a little bit more than they had moved. I mean, the client thinks you only need this much room uh, to paint. So I had to move things over a little bit more, which kind of delayed me a little bit. Um, but I plasticed everything, put a drop cloth down and worked solo. Got it done in a day. Um, they already had paint. So really it was about a $550 uh, dollar job, $550, $600 job. When you think about the type of paint they used, they bought four gallons and then one gallon of an accent wall. That's five gallons. Um, they probably spent, you know, 40, 50 bucks a gallon if I had to guess on that paint price. So, I mean, once I charge my 400 labor, I mean, you're probably talking about a $650 job if I'm all in on it. But I already had the cut can, I already had a brush, um, already had a roller, a rolling pole. I didn't have to buy any of the, the smaller stuff that you would have to buy if you're just starting up a company. So that was just all straight profit. So on this one, I made $400. Now, we're gonna come back to the free jobs because there is another free job uh, that I did book but let's talk about paid. So I ran Facebook ad campaign. I did a before and after, and I spent $100 on it. I said, let me just spend $100, see how many leads I can get off of it. I got three uh, messaging conversations off of it, which isn't terrible. Um, you know, if, if one of those converts, that's $100, and maybe I just made a few grand off that $100, right? So that's why I set it at $100 over the course of, I think, five or either seven days. I think it was a seven day period. I did a before and after. I had a bunch of reactions on it because they were a bunch of like reactions, you know, on it, a bunch of loves, a bunch of thumbs up, a bunch of comments on there. People uh, saying, oh, I love this change. It was a, it was an orange color. It went to like a, a, a repose gray by Sherwin Williams. You had people in there arguing, oh, I hate gray. I'm so sick of seeing gray. I like the orange better, which is good for you because you get more exposure. Their friends see it. I had a couple of people like the page. So overall, just that in itself, the exposure that I received from the $100 ad campaign uh, was worth it in my opinion. I got three messages. One lady messaged me, um, asked me a question. I forget what she asked. I responded with a paragraph. Hey, thanks for reaching out. You know, yada, yada, yada. Is there something specific you want quoted? Oh, she asked me, uh, do I charge by like the square footage or do I charge like by the job? And I said, well, typically I like to see the job. 
Um, you know, thanks for reaching out, all this professional politeness and stuff, because I really think that's how we should approach clients. Um, and then she, she read it and never responded. So I was like, cool, appreciate that, whatever. You kind of get those things, right? That comes with the territory. Second person that messaged me said, hey, uh, do you stain fences? If so, how much do you charge to stain fences? I said, well, it depends on how big the fence is. Can I come take a look at it? Yeah, um, do you have availability, availability to stain the fence tomorrow? And I was like, uh, I probably could on a Saturday in my head, right? I'm like, I probably could on a Saturday, but what, what does that look like for me as a contractor if I'm just available when you message me on Friday to work Saturday? That doesn't look very good on me. Uh, I know most of you would say, who cares? Take the money and go. But Saturday's also the family time. Saturday, Sundays are family time for me, and I'm not gonna work. Uh, since I work for myself, I'm not gonna choose to work on those days unless it's something really important or something that I deem necessary. So I said, no, I could get to you next week. She said, you know, thank you, that's not gonna work. We have listing photos for our house on Monday, uh, but you know, our painter's sick, and he was supposed to do the fence this week, but he's been sick. And I said, sorry, you know, maybe they can reschedule the photos for, for you excuse me, and then you can get your fence stain. She gave me a thumbs up, that was it. So she did that on an ad, so that cost me money, right? Um, and then the third person, they messaged me, said I can't get a painter to show up, I can't get a painter to give me a quote, can you come by my house and give me a quote? Very nice house, very big house, beautiful house. Uh, they wanted the exterior door, shutters quoted. Um, I quoted them that, Then the more I talked, she wanted the interior quoted. Um, because they're not 100% sure if they're gonna sell their house. They have it on the market, but it's one of those things where they're kind of just putting it on the market as a, as a feeler, which as a real estate agent, I hate that. That feels like a waste of my time. Um, but they definitely wanna get the front door and the shutters painted, she told me. I haven't heard back from them since, but I gave them the quote. She asked me a couple questions about the quote. She said it was a reasonable price. Um, you know, I did it more along the lines of my general pricing where it's like, hey, if I did uh, these doors right here, it'd be 400 bucks, you know, 200, 200 bucks in material you know, that's your quote for the exterior. So I did do the, I stayed true to the 400 a day method on that job. Haven't heard back from it yet. So that's a hundred dollars in Facebook ads. This is what I got. I got, I got three messages, three messages. Um, and out of those three messages, I booked what? One quote, quote, and out of that one quote, uh, no book jobs, no booked jobs. So hundred dollars down the drain. Some would say yes. Some would say no. I don't think so. I made a relationship with the one homeowner. She liked me. Uh, she was texting me questions. She said I had very reasonable pricing. If somebody ever approaches her and says, Hey, do you know a painter? Guess who, guess whose number she's going to give. She's going to say me. She's going to say my number was reasonable. She's going to say this guy showed up when he said he would show up. He dressed professional. He talked professional, um, you know, and she's going to recommend me. So $100 wasted? I don't think so. I got a good ref referral out of it, right? At minimum. Because she said she had multiple painters say they were going to show up, never showed up. So no book jobs yet. That could always change. She could text me next week and say, hey, do you have an opening next week? Um, you know, we decided not to sell or whatever. And we decided to change it before we sold it. Uh, the front door was like yellow. And the husband was like, you know, so upset about it. Been that way for years. Uh, he had been trying to make his wife paint it forever. They bought it like that. And they both hate it. So you never know. If they could get really tired of looking at it, text me back later. So uh, three estimates, two book jobs on the free one. Um, those are those two books from the three estimates. So we're going to like bracket off these here because that's something else. Um, come down here. I actually had a third book job. One book job from a referral. It was a referral. A, a buddy of mine works for himself. I wouldn't call him a buddy. He's more of a work acquaintance. He works for himself. I had him help me on a job one time. He randomly just messaged me out of the blue. I'm, I'm not even making this up. The second I decided to start talking about pain again, he randomly messaged me out of the blue. And I think it's because I shared something on my Facebook page uh, from my business page. When I did these two rooms, I shared the before and after transformation, right? And he messaged me and said, hey man, do you mess with pain anymore or are you completely done? And I said, actually, now that you messaged me, uh, I said, you know, I try not to do too much work, but I am dabbling back in it. That's what I told him. He said, good. He said, I'm hoping to get a yes out of you. 
He said, because I booked this job, it's a full house repaint. I'm doing everything, including the cabinets. He said, I've seen your cabinet work before you post it on Facebook. I know you use uh, a unique method. He knows I used a lacquer primer. He knows I use polyurethane top, top coat spray them. They come out looking like glass and they cure 24 hours. You know, you're good to go usually. Um, and he knows that he's never seen that method done in person, but he said, Hey, you know, I'm hoping to get a yes out of you. What do you charge for cabinet doors? And I said, look, just to be honest, I usually charge a hundred bucks an opening. I charge a hundred dollars for a door, a hundred dollars for a drawer. And so when that comes out, I mean, your, your typical kitchen is probably 2,500 to three grand. He said, look, I'll pay you $110 a door. He said, and I'll provide all the materials. And I don't think he's making much money on the cabinets, but I guess he's going to make it up on the house. But he's like, I got this tight deadline. Can you help me? And I said, yeah. And so I'm actually going to do those next week. Um, but I know a, the girl who taught me how to do cabinets in my local area, she taught me how to use these coating systems. And she does them better than me, if you ask me, because she's been doing them a lot longer than I have like this. I called her, tried to sell it out to her, make four or $500, right? Uh, she said she was really busy, so we negotiated. And actually, she's going to do the doors, and I'm going to do the boxes. I'm going to do the frames. I'm going to spend one day taking off, uh, taking off all the, the doors and the drawers, labeling them. Then I'm going to prep the whole kitchen. I'm going to spray the boxes. Uh, and one day, let them dry. I'm going to take the doors to her shop. She, she's going to spray the doors. She's going to let them dry, let them cure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend probably another half day cleaning up um, and bringing the doors and putting everything back on. Uh, in the right spot, making it look good to go, doing any touch-ups if necessary, shouldn't really have any. But once I do that, um, I'm probably gonna split the money dead even with her, I've already talked to her. Um, she's gonna make 15, 1500 to 1800, we haven't really decided yet on just spraying the doors, a couple of days work in her shop, and probably one to one and a half day, I'm gonna take the other 1500. So out of that, that's gonna be straight uh, profit, referral, that's a $1,500 in one day. It's what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend about a day and make $1,500. So with everything said and done, I'm trying to set myself up to where, uh, you know, I know I have some expenses like gas, a little bit of overhead with insurance and stuff like that. I get that. Uh, but for the most part, when it comes down to it, this is basically the money I've made on the side of my other full-time job, which is real estate uh, and coaching clients. Uh, I've made, you know, 15, 19, uh, what is that? 20, 2,200 bucks in the past two weeks. Uh, it'll be three weeks technically by the time I make this 1500. So in three weeks, I've made an extra 2,200 bucks just based off the being able to, to dress like a professional, show up when I say I'm going to show up, answer Facebook messages, answer calls, show up at somebody's house and spend one or two days here and there working. That's $2,200 in just a couple of weeks. That's a good side hustle if you ask me. Now, once we sit down with my business partner and we get all the paperwork done, we go 50-50 on everything, everything else will kind of change. The coaching will all be my stuff in my account. We're gonna set up a separate account uh, for things we do together, referrals, uh, things we sub out and things like that. And I'll update you guys when the time comes. Um, but for now, that's how my past two weeks have went and that's how next week will go with the cabinet. So that's kind of, what I've been through. Um, so I have spent a little money up front, didn't quite get anything from it, but I know for a fact the customer um, that I talked to is gonna give me great, great response if anybody ever asked, do you know a painter? Because she respected me, because I respected her time. I showed up when I said I was gonna show up and I did what I said I was gonna do. I can't make someone sign a contract. I'm not here some sales guru. Uh, I'm just uh, here to be the best representative of me and my company that I can. And when we start subbing things out, I'll update you guys in the next couple of weeks as well. So let me know if you like these longer form videos. I know it's a lot to sit through, turn it on when you're on your, you know, um, on your lawnmower, you know, cutting your grass, riding to work, whatever, uh, and just listen. But appreciate you guys hanging with me. The easiestbusiness.com slash courses if you want personalized coaching from me. Um, if you want to take the blueprint course, go ahead and buy it on there. It's 1500 bucks. You buy the blueprint course. The next few people that buy it, I'm going to actually teach myself, um, record the videos, upload them to the private, the private uh the private link and then from there on out it'll be just something that's self-taught that you watch the videos and you learn and and use that way so let me know what you thought guys thanks